Welcome to the Weldy channel. Here we will explain to you how to operate the booster extruder, along with some tips and tricks. We deliver the booster in an aluminium box, equipped with a welding blank welding shoe. Remove the booster and put it on the table. The handle and ball head can be mounted on the left, right or bottom as desired. Position the handle and tighten. Also included are a brass brush, an allen wrench, and a pair of carbon brushes. Depending on the version, also a heating element with mica tube. Connect the plug to power supply and check if sufficient voltage is available. Turn on blower, adjust the temperature potentiometer to position 4 and heat up for 10 minutes. Based on the thickness of the material to be welded and the required weld geometry, select the correct welding shoe. The mark code indicates the geometry of the weld, and the base material thickness. The Teflon part can be replaced by loosening the two screws. On our website Leister.com, you will find a wide selection of welding shoes. All booster welding shoes can be turned 360 degrees and used in the desired position. Fix the locking screws by tightening on both sides until tight. The welding wire can be inserted either on the left or right side. Insert the welding rod on one side and activate the drive with the locking switch. In dusty environments, a cleaning cloth can be clamped as a scraper with a clamp on the welding wire. The processing temperatures can be found in the material manufacturer's instructions. By turning the red potentiometer, you can adjust the temperature. Test the plus temperature with a thermometer and a needle, probe and measure 10 mm inside the welding shoe. Measure the air temperature 5 mm in the preheating nozzle. For ideal seam preparation, it is always recommended to remove the invisible oxide layer with a scraper. Parts can be fixed using a weldy hot air tool and attacking nozzle. Preheat the place where the welding is to start, using the hot air from the extruder. The hand extruder is to be at the right angle, and the drive motor is to be started at the same time. The booster is to be moved forward with constant speed and pressure, along the area to be joined. Transitions and corners can be reworked with the plast fix to provide a good finish. The required weld bead dimension can be checked easily with the welding gauge. Remove welding shoe when machine has reached operating temperature. Before the change of welding shoe or cooling down, cut a piece of welding rod. And with a pair of pliers push the welding rod approx. One centimeter into the hole in the welding shoe and hold for 10 seconds in the molten plastic. Pull the wire with the plastic plug out, so that the welding shoe is clean. Before changing a welding shoe or if welding work is finished, clean as much plastic from the welding shoe. For this purpose, 
A brass brush is very helpful and gentle on the components. These steps should always be carried when the machine is at operating temperature. The welding shoe must also be checked for cleanliness. Before switching off the temperature, potentiometer turn to position zero and let the machine cool down for five minutes. Now you can switch off the booster. Thank you for using the Weldy Booster.